Good morning, welcome to morning prayer on this Thursday, the 15th of December in Advent. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence that we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In your tender compassion, the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence. Strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm for today is 76. In Judah God is known, his name is great in Israel. At Salem in his tabernacle and his dwelling place in Zion. There broke he the flashing arrows of the bow, the shield, the sword and the weapons of war. In the light of splendour you appeared, glorious from the eternal mountains. The boastful were plundered, they have slept their sleep. None of the warriors can lift their hand. At your rebuke, O God of Jacob, both horse and chariot fell stunned. Terrible are you in majesty, who can stand before your face when you are angry? You caused your judgment to be heard from earth, the earth trembled and was still. When God arose to judgment to save all the meek upon the earth, you crushed the wrath of the peoples and bridled the wrathful remnant. Make a vow to the Lord your God and keep it. Let all who are round about him bring gifts to him that is worthy to be feared. He breaks down the spirit of princes and strikes terror in the kings of the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. <clears throat> Our Old Testament reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 51, beginning at verse 9. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. Awake as in days of old, the generations of long ago. Was it not you who cut Rahab in pieces, who pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep? You made the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to cross over. So the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I, I am he who comforts you. Why then are you afraid of mere mortal who must die? A human being who fades like grass. You have forgotten the Lord your Maker who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. You fear continually all day long because of the fury of the oppressor who is bent on destruction. But where is the fury of the oppressor? The oppressed shall speedily be released. They shall not die and go down to the pit, nor shall they lack bread. For I am the Lord your God who stirs up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name. I have put my words in your mouth and hidden you in the shadow of my hand, stretching out the heavens and laying the foundations of the earth and saying to Zion, you are my people. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. The wilderness and the dry land shall rejoice, the desert shall blossom and burst into song. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weary hands and make firm the feeble knees. 
Say to the anxious, be strong, fear not. Your God is coming with judgment, coming with judgment to save you. Then he shall open the eyes of the blind and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a heart, the tongue of the dumb, dumb sing for joy. And waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The ransomed of the Lord shall return with singing, with everlasting joy upon their heads. Joy and gladness shall be theirs, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Lift up your voice with strength, O herald of good tidings. Our New Testament reading is from 2 Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter 2. As to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered together to him, we beg you, brothers and sisters, not to be quickly shaken in mind or alarmed, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as though from us to the effect that the day of the Lord is already here. Let no one deceive you in any way, for that day will not come unless the rebellion takes a seat in the temple of God, declaring himself to be God. Do not remember that I told you these things when I was still with you. And you know what is now restraining him, so that he may be revealed when his time comes. The mystery of lawlessness is already at work, but only until the one who now restrains is removed, and then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will destroy with the breath of his mouth, annihilating him by the manifestation of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is apparent in the working of Satan, who uses all power, signs, lying wonders, and every kind of wicked deception for those who are perishing because they refuse to love the truth and so to be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion, leading them to believe what is false, so that all who have not believed the truth but took pleasure in unrighteousness will be condemned. But we must always give thanks to God for you, brothers and sisters, beloved by the Lord, because God chose you as the first fruit for salvation through sanctification by the Spirit and through belief in the truth. For his purpose he calls you through our proclamation of the good news so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brothers and sisters, stand firm. Hold fast to the traditions that you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by our letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself, God our Father, who loved us and through grace gave us eternal comfort and good hope, comfort your hearts and strengthen them in every good work and word. Now is the time to wake out of sleep, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Now is our salvation nearer than when we first believed, for the night is far spent. Therefore let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the armour of light, for the day is at hand. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ, make no provision for the flesh, for the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies from the hands of all that hate us to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation and by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us pray. Holy and loving God, we give thanks for this day. We pray for the world in all its needs. We pray especially for those people who have suffered and perished through the cold and icy waters. We remember the young boys who have died. We remember also those who have been travelling by sea. The refugees. We pray for those who grieve. 
those who are experiencing pain and loss. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that justice and mercy will reign upon the earth. Lord, help us to be ready for your coming as we celebrate your birth. Help us to know the peace and joy and grace that you offer us this Christmas. We pray for churches as they prepare for services and all congregations as they get ready to worship the newborn baby Jesus, the Christ child in the manger. Help us to see with the eyes of faith that God came to be amongst us, amongst the poor, amongst the rich, amongst the whole world, to be the light of the world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And we pray for those known to us who are suffering at this time in body, mind or spirit. Comfort and heal them and bring them the joy of your salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those recently departed and those whose anniversary of death fall at this time. Most eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who at your first coming sent your messenger to prepare your way before you, grant that the ministers and stewards of your mysteries may likewise so prepare and make ready your way. By turning the hearts of the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, that at your second coming to judge the world, we may be found an acceptable people in your sight. For you are alive, reign with the Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Awaiting his coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord when he comes find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Many thanks for joining me this morning and please do join us again for our Advent, Reflec Advent Reflections at 6pm. Have a good day. Bye.